Good day everyone, uh, this is Jake Pumperada from the Philippines and then this will be my first time to create a tutorial video in computer programming. To be specific, I will be using C++ as our programming language. In this tutorial, we will learn how to write a simple C++ program that will ask the user to give two numbers and then the program will compute the sum and then the product of the two numbers given by the user if you like this video tutorial please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more computer programming tutorials so let us begin in every C++ program it starts with the use of sharp include std io stream this command will allows us the use of this command will allows us to use a library file in c++ for input and output functionalities next using namespace std for standard this command is a standard for namespacing in every C++ program. I, by the way, I am using div C++ 5.1 as our C++ compiler. This compiler can be downloaded freely over the internet. Next is the declaration of int main function. This int main function is the starting point of every C++ program execution. There is no program in C++ that does not have an int function. Every C++ program has an int main function. Next, we will declare the opening and closing curly bracket. This opening and closing curly bracket is means that we are start beginning of the body of our C++ program. Next is to declare a variable in a equal 0, b equal 0. Now take note this data type int means integer in mathematics an integer refers to zero negative and positive whole numbers and then we have here a equals zero and b equals zero are two variables that will accept input from our user if you are wondering why we are initializing these two variable to zero is that sometimes when we don't initialize a variable into zero when we run our program unexpected results can be happened so to make it safe we declare a variable in this sample program to zero next we declare sum equal zero and product equal zero semicolon these two variables will act as assignment statement in our program that will hold the sum in product of the two numbers. Next, we will declare the title of our program sum of two numbers sum and product of two numbers in C++. This is the title of our program. Semicolon to terminate the statement. Next, console out. Left shift. Backslash n, backslash n. This one, this command is escape character for new line. Spacing no? on the top for formatting. Console out. Left shift and give two numbers. In this declaration, it will accept two input numbers and then cn for input left shift a left shift b no 
two variables to accept input variables now this is the time that we will use the assignment statement sum equals open parenthesis in close a plus b the plus sign here will find, compute the sum of the two variables semicolon next product for multiplication a asterisk b semicolon spacing console out again for spacing backslash n backslash n next for the output this console out the sum of a and no sorry b is we will call the assignment operator sum so here sum if shift close okay semicolon now to make our program when we write the program much faster most of the t time i do is to copy this one and then paste and then another product of product okay so next return zero the return zero after it will display the result it will terminate and return to the operating system in this case we are using windows 10 operating system so after we have done the most important one before we run our program or check for errors is to save press ctrl s and then write the file name some underscore product dot cpp always specify the extension cpp for c++ save next we go to execute compile check if there are some syntax error in our program there is none and then next is to run the program 5 and 2 give to number 5 and 2 the sum of 5 and 2 is 7 and then the product of 5 and 2 is 10 okay the result is correct however as you observe no there is a formatting problem no? it is not a good idea that this the result here and then, then the second line are adjacent to one another let us do some changes no? to make some changes all you need to do is to copy this statement paste new line next new line to new line save always remember to compile first and then after we compile we run okay five and six five and six five uh, the sum of five and six is eleven and then the product of five and six is thirty so as you can see the display is already is much good compared to the previous one now uh, this is the output of our program if you like this tutorial please click the like and the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel thank you very much guys for listening in the in watching this tutorial I hope to see you soon in my next tutorial. Bye-bye for now.